All right, here we go. Oh my god, I got pushed back, dude. All right, here we go. In those initial reaction, you have a flag here. Put down the flag. Get your ammo. Walk in. I don't know. I think that flag goes away. I believe the first room, there's going to be like a bunch of dogs run at you. There's a big shrieker. If you want to take out the thralls. If you don't have a recluse and you farm for a callous mini tool, it'd be a good option. You can always use a hand cannon as outlaw, maybe rampage, maybe a rapid hit multi kill clip one. That part is pretty simple, I would say. When you get into this room, look at the center. I normally like to drop back just because of the shrieker in the center. Put up the rift. Work on the night. If you have mountain top, use it. If you don't have mountain top, you can still use the LMG. They got the blights, you can shoot them, if you didn't know that. And I'm pretty sure I've seen a bunch of heavy ammo in the back. I'm gonna go for it real quick. down if you have taken armaments be a good option here boom you get ammo back whenever you need it I don't think there's anything else in this room really drop down watch your fall all right make sure you don't run off you can jump up here I feel like a lot of people jumped off right there. Thinking that you're supposed to drop down. Honestly, take your time. Watch out for this dude. You know he's coming. I mean, if you went and got delirium, this part is really fucking simple. Before you drop down, shoot these things. What's up, Infamous? You have an edge transit with Genesis and Field Prep? Do you have Hall Launch or uh, Spike Grenades as well? Wizard should be easy to kill. Watch out for snipers. Like, legit, if you have a Delirium. This whole part, this whole section, shouldn't be like anything too crazy. Also, if you have delirium, this is a trick, right? To, you know, get the perk to activate. Like, get rid of one of your special things. You pick it up. Boom, your delirium goes back up. It gets reloaded. So, there goes another trick. Oh, this is pretty simple, I would say. I don't think this is like a hard mission to do. Thank you for the ammo, appreciate it. That one just came back. Watch out for the things that push you off the ledge. I normally just run from here to here. You don't really need that other one, I would say. Shriekers, of course. Boom, streak is down. There's supposed to be a Minotaur down here somewhere. There he goes. He's invisible. Get rid of this so I can reload my thing again. 
I think that's it for that part. There's nothing like too crazy about this mission right here. You legit take your time. You'll be done. Before you know it. What's up, King? How's it going? Same shit. Get rid of those. Watch out for the floors or the walls pushing you. Bunch of thralls coming. Don't be scared. They're just fucking thralls. Like, if you have a recluse. Or, like I said, a hand cannon with, like, Rampage and Outlaw, you'll be fine. You have to use your super whenever. I don't know. I really feel like this is one of, one of the simplest things to uh, make sure you don't die to the bombs. I feel like we're already in the final room. No, we're in one room before the final room. I think this is the... Yeah, this part with the dogs. As long as you don't jump up, the Shriekers won't do anything to you. So if anything, I would say go right. Maybe even get some ammo off the dogs. And then use the Delirium to take out the Blight. Wait, why am I still in the blight? Didn't I take out that blight? No? Oh, that was weird. That was really weird. I think there might be like, yeah. So there's minotaurs after a certain amount of blights are down. You kind of take your time. Make sure you try not to jump up too high. Run around if you have to. I mean, staying alive in this room is not too bad, All right? Look, I just got hit a few times. I just backed up, wait a little bit. Boom. There's one more for some reason. He's down. Dogs, use them for ammo if you have to. Get more ammo back. Did I do the whole right side already? I think I did. So the next thing is going to be wizards, I'm pretty sure. After you do like the next wave. Whatever you do, don't jump up there either. There are going to be shriekers. I feel like the dogs are very harmless. And if you get recluse proc, the blights are pretty simple, I would say. And on a hunter, you can go invisible, you can tether, especially if you have the boots. The dogs are kind of infinite, so you can kind of get that going as well for you, I would say. But yeah, the shriekers in this room are not an issue as long as you stay up. All right, let me see. All right, so the I hear the ogres out. All right, if you have a well, put it up. If you have mountaintop, boom. If you don't have mountaintop, you can still use the delirium. It might take a little bit longer. You might have to hide a few times, but if you got mountaintop. This guy is nothing, like legit. You got wizards. You got to finish off. I think there's three taken wizards. If I'm correct, I don't remember anymore. One, two. Maybe there's a third somewhere hiding? No. There's a wizard somewhere. Yeah, it's three wizards. Wizard, you there? Alright, you'll hear that sound. That means the doors open up over there and next room. I don't like to have like a lot of shit with the shriekers. And this final room is really simple. Even if you let the enemies kind of kill each other up front, 
I think there's some that you have to kill. I mean, take your time with the jumps. Don't pay attention to me. I might be going a lot faster, I would say. When you get up here, too, you don't have to go up in center. You can legit jump to the right. There's going to be snipers. So you can take out the snipers first, if you can. It's not like the enemies are going to be coming after you because you're not the main target right now, right? They're fighting each other. And this Vandal is just... He's hiding. Anyway. Jump right here. Honestly, the spy is going to be your best friend. You can just chill up here. Kill. And if you have to, run back inside. You know, move side to side. Use your grenade to heal. I always try to, like, go behind covers and shit like that, too, when you're... Make sure that there's nothing behind you at all times. Kind of, like... You don't want to, like, have, like, a, any kind of openings in your back, I would say. Like, this is a safe area. I think I saw a sniper across. Yeah, there's one sniper across. I think there's a sniper on each side. You're not going to use your mountain top much, except for when the big guy comes out. So let's see, is he out yet? Uh, yeah, he is. I think I see him down there. Was that him? Maybe not. Take out the signs because they like to replicate. And like I said, your life gets low, run back. Just fucking chill. I don't think that dude is... Is he going to come up here? Okay. He's dead. I think it's time for the big guy. Is it the big guy? Is he in center? No, he hasn't popped up yet. I like chilling up here because all the thralls are going to come to you. Right? Put a grenade down. And once you have a, a few good numbers, you're going to drop in the far back. Right here. And just farm. This is legit gonna be your best friend. This fucking whole side right here. You can even use your fucking delirium. Wait for the big guy. Like, if you have your wall, just save your wall for the big guy. I still don't see him waiting. But I believe as soon as he dies, you're done, right? So there he goes. Drop you well, kill things, wait for a throw to get nearby, get empowerment. Make sure you don't die to thralls because you're uh, you're trying to use mountain top. And he's down. You can just run back to your corner and fucking do the same shit. Same shit. You might be done already. To be honest with you. 